life is not as important to you as your life. Practically, we all have lives to lead. How you choose to live your life is really your choice. You have the choice to produce yourself a physical being. That physical being might be athletic, it might be slender, it might be thick, it might be hefty, it might be voluptuous, it might be a lot of things, but those choices are openly yours. What you decide to put in your body in terms of caring for your physical health and your cellular degeneration that naturally occurs in the process of aging is totally 100% your choice. What physicians you decide to see literally for your physical ailments or your personal concerns are openly 100% in America your legal choice. They are also honored underneath the International Declaration of Human Rights, which says we have the right to choose our own physicians, our own everything in the realm of physical and mental health. There is no rule that says anyone can force us to do those things anywhere else in the world, I don't believe. But it doesn't apply to us as American citizens. Under federal law, we have HIPAA to protect us from physicians and any healthcare worker talking about our personhood with other people, but we can't prove that gossip and pillow talk doesn't happen when a person comes home from work to say what they did at work today and who they served and what that was like and how horrible it was or how great it was or how wonderful it was or what a spiritual experience it was. We can't stop the gossip world. In life, we have moments of time to help people. We have moments of time to prove who we are. The people who've been robbing me are literally destroying paperwork. They're going into my storage they are t monking in my papers. They are ruining content. They are ruining papers. They are ruining business cards. They are ruining everything I set aside in very organized fashions for my own life going forward after I found a new place. They have stolen a lot of things. They have stolen t-shirts. I definitely have had several clothes go missing. Things that were mainly one of a kind. You see, most of my clothes are one of a kind. They are not easily replaced. I have already looked them up and trying to replace them. They don't exist anymore, at least not on the internet I can find, and openly that makes me upset. I have only a few things from my late father, and I'm upset that those things have been stolen. I've had bags that I've purchased at the promptings of the soul journey that we all have about when we shop and where we go and what we buy, and literally someone cut those bags. Now who has the right to do that under the Lord's house and the rules that God has put in the Bible? or the Quran, or any other literature work from that period of time of producing proper behavior from human beings. You see, proper behavior is thou shall not murder, which literally means in today's age, thou shall not physically assault someone, thou shall also not attract a problem online or off that creates a problem for oneself or others is not a part of thou shall not murder. What thou shall not murder means is I will not attack you online to try to destroy your life. I will not take away technology to try and leave you in the lurch and in the cold in the winter months. Now, practically, when I say these things, people are like, yeah, but it happens every day. It does, but it doesn't matter to you until it really practically happens to you. Look at the identity theft people who go on television and talk about how horrible it was for them. We all say, oh, that was a shame in those moments, but then we forget about it and we go on carrying out our business, not realizing how at risk we are with literally everyone we provide that information to. Now, when I talk like this, I'm making total common sense. But when we practically apply it to other people, we don't see as well. We know that people don't understand homelessness. We also know that people have arrogant attitudes about how easy it is to get a job today. Everyone in my older sibling set pretty much says, just go out and get a new job. And I'm sitting there thinking, I would love to do that. But since you ruined my credit and you disparaged my name legally and lawfully, it's a little tough to get past that HR director and the screeners who are recruiting, looking at what's this person done lawfully and illegally. And while I haven't done anything illegally, the information out there is enough to ruin my life. And it has, openly it has. Other gossip around my life has also destroyed my right to tell people about their rights. You see, I believe in secret shopping and I believe secret shoppers are every human being that goes into a place. Whether they are paid to do it or not, we are all given the surveys on which we can provide our experience, our open experience to our actual investment in other people's lives through the purchase of products and services that employ them and keep them with income and resources to provide for their own families. Now, when I say this, people think, oh, that's too thick. No, it's not. It's really the truth about our life. 
that corporations want to know this information so they can improve, so they can change products, so they can get better things, so they can tackle new ideas, but openly, whenever it comes to something negative, they usually react in one of two ways. They throw the individual out saying, well, if you don't like us, get out, like a child. Or they take in that information, they honor it, they recognize it might be representation of more people than just one voice, and they apply it to maybe it means equals 20 voices, or maybe it equals 100 voices, or maybe this point of view equals 1,000 voices, and the list goes on depending on how large of an organization you're running or what you're trying to achieve in life. But when I talk like this, practically people don't get it. They just think, oh, he's just being lazy. He's not working on his job hunt. No, I am, but we have applicant tracking systems that require us to fill out these ridiculous forms that we could have handled if we just mailed a resume to them. And openly, people don't receive resumes anymore by snail mail because they want it all electronic. Why? So they can cut and paste and put things into their own proper usage, but that's not lawful. It's a copywritten piece of paper. In truth, it might be considered even intellectual property, but we don't understand what those laws mean. We just think, oh, I'll swipe this and take that, I'll do that, and we don't cite our sources. In journalism, we learned we had to cite sources regardless of what we were doing and how we were doing using it, regardless of what point of view we had and what opinion we were going to render, and that's the way it is. Secret shopping is really a responsibility of all human beings going through any business establishment or non-profit organization. That if we have ideas, we should share them freely. People should write them down, wait a few days, and relook at it. Because the reactive person usually does something really wrong for their entire organization or their company or their community. And that's foolery. He said, the Lord gave us discernment. And discernment says, I know deep within my soul that I am the one that is loved by you and you will never harm me. And I will stop lying, cheating, and robbing you from your proper rights of your own property. I will not ruin and vandalize one more thing. And I openly will make sure everything I've taken out to investigate is literally returned. I will also tell you what has happened honestly. I will apologize profusely. I will pay you millions because of the violation of your federal rights. And we are overly at the end of our time today. Thanks for listening. I appreciate you. Goodbye.